Have you ever guys? Have you guys ever liked a gun so much you just wanted to, you know, kind of get that gun in real life and just hold it and squeeze it in your arms forever? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Oh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? It's your boy ETF Cobra. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite gun so far in Battlefield 3. Um, it's the AUG, the AUG, whatever you want to call it, Australian. <laughs> AUG A3 whatever you want to call it. It's it's definitely my favorite gun in Battlefield 3 right now as you guys will notice I'm tearing guys up right now in this gameplay. I had a previous game Where I was doing so well with the AUG and it's just my favorite gun. I know for longer range maps um, I know it doesn't work too well because you know off range sometimes it feels like you're missing a, a lot of your shots But the AUG serves its purpose. It feels like it's on par with the M16 and its reliability um, it's reload is not too fast. It's not the M16's pace, but it's it, it's quick enough where you'll feel like you're gonna you you're you're reloading fast enough where you can get back into the battle, into the action, and kill a couple more guys. And that's why I love it. I love its accuracy. I love its pinpoint accuracy. Low recoil. Um, I love how you can take take it anywhere. And because of the ballpark design, you know you can hit fire. Um, and and you know really hit guys. Um, adding the laser sight to this weapon makes it so dangerous in close and medium range I think it's probably you know on par with the AEK sometimes I find myself out gunning guys with M16 and, and AEKs and the reason for that is because of this weapon's well balancedness and reliability on the battlefield and here I'm trying to take out all these guys all at once I noticed that you know I don't have a gun fast enough to take them out with you know just one shot so I pull out the Rex and of course the Rex gets the job ju done just a little bit of <laughs> Of course, I get blown to smithereens, and then we all get revived. And the thing I love about Battlefield is just the teamwork in general as well. I love Battlefield still playing a year after, and a lot of people are. And these guys, you know, were playing real hardcore. They were getting everybody up, and, you know, revives were... Um, it, they weren't Rambo revives. They were smart revives for the most part. I know the last game I played in before, there were a lot of Rambo revives. And now I, I, that was the game that um, uh, I actually raged in. And actually, my last video... Um, where I was supposed to show that I was raging a little bit and I had 70 kills with the AEK. Sony Vegas messed up the whole video. I don't know what happened exactly, but when it uploaded to YouTube, it was 360p and some of the parts I wanted in there were cut out and it stopped the video early. I was just so frustrated. I wanted to take down the video, but a lot of you guys commented and thought the video was awesome. So I'm definitely gonna keep doing more. You know, just as long as I see those, you know, positive comments, I'm definitely gonna keep uploading more of those videos where I play with friends. But enough of that. Let's get back into this game. Um, you know, the thing I also love about Battlefield is you'll notice when you're in a lobby with a <laughs> with a lot of tryhards. Not really tryhards. I call these guys um, my buddies, my friends, because I, you know. I kept playing with these guys, you know, round after round after round because they knew to push up. They knew when to push up. They knew how to push up. They knew that they just can't sit there and expect the enemy to come to them because, you know, we're on offense. We're supposed to attack the MCONs. And, you know, a lot of these guys were reviving and doing their job. And that's what I love, you know. I love seeing that type of gameplay where your teammates are working um, so well with you. They know what to do and you don't have to stress yourself out. Or I didn't have to stress myself out to, you know, get what I needed done. And it's just freaking awesome. I love it when I can go into a game and not have to, not be lazy, but at the same time, not have to, you know, carry the whole team on my back. I love those games, you know, even though it's fun to do that, but you don't want to be doing that all the time and expecting yourself to, you know, push your team, you know, and that's how I feel in most of my games. But as soon as I get into a game like this or into a lobby like this, where there's a lot of smart players that know exactly how to play. And these aren't tryhards. These are players that, you know, they want to have fun, but... You know, at the same time, they want to play the game in the, the way it's supposed to be played. You know, you don't want to be goofing around or just staying in the back, um, you know, just waiting for guys to come to you and you're playing offense. You know, you definitely don't want to see guys doing that. But uh, anyways, the video is just about wrapping up. I am also um, extremely curious about what you guys want to see on my channel. I've been uploading some videos and I'm watching for your comments, guys. I'm watching for your comments for what you guys think um, that I should definitely upload. And I'm going off of that, you know, basically off my channel, what you guys find entertaining, what I like doing. I actually like doing that commentary um, with a couple friends um, and talking to them. And I'm going to do another one, you know, as soon as I clear my hard drive. Right now, there's a lot of stuff packed on it. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a thumbs up for this video. If you did appreciate it, leave a comment below of your thoughts and opinions. Peace.